Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have the latest from the live radar run for the UK V have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as it is continuing to look pretty dry and mild as we do head into the first full week of November. There is the risk of seeing a little bit of a squeeze from lower pressure in from the west by the end of the working week. And it could bring a little bit of precipitation in the far west. But there is a lot of uncertainty exactly how close the low pressure will get. Now, it isn't spelling the end of the higher pressure. It's just the area of high pressure we have at the moment is getting weakened and a new area of high pressure we will rebuild and reinforce the high pressure we have. And as that sort of uh, re replacement sort of cycle does go on, we could see a little bit of a weather front or lower pressure nudging in and that could cause a little bit of precipitation in a few spots. As we head into longer range though, we are starting to see some concrete signs that there could be a change as we do head towards the middle of the month. It's not happening anytime soon, not in the next seven days, but beyond that, definitely fairly strong signal that the high pressure could be moving away. Now we do still think high pressure is going to be in control. I don't think we're gonna see a massive unlocking of the North Atlantic with the jet stream powering through. It's just looking more and more likely that the high pressure won't be sat right over the top of us like it is at the moment. The GFS continues to show signs of that high pressure moving northwards in some sort of capacity, not potentially developing anything majorly cold, but just generally bringing it slightly cooler air mass in from the north or the northeast it's still sort of mid-november by the time this occurs so of course we've got no chance really of seeing anything majorly cold but definitely a more interesting pattern as we do head into the second half of the month and even the gm in the east and the we have to only go out to day 10 are starting to show signs of that today there have been a little bit more um reluctant over the past few days but starting to show signs of that high pressure moving away again we'll have to keep a very close eye on that and then of course we'll finish by having a look at the ensembles which again do show that longer term trajectory back towards average or below average temperatures and perhaps a slight increase in precipitation as well so do remember if you enjoy my videos which do like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the link's in the description now if you start on the live radar it's very similar to yesterday and the many days prior to that where it is very dry quite a lot of cloud around and it is very mild a few patches of some more uh, lighter drizzly precipitation across parts of northern ireland further north across scotland and some that's not really cropping up on the radar uh, but for most it is dry today just again pretty cloudy so feeling fairly miserable recording this around quarter to four already it's starting to look dark outside and of course, sunset will be around sort of 3.50, 3.55 in around five or six weeks time. But it's already getting dark at around half three just because of the thickness of the cloud, unfortunately. But temperatures are still very mild. Lots of yellows around, which isn't unheard of this time of year. But the relentless nature that we have seen and will continue to see this week, maybe 17, 18 degrees later this week, that is pretty rare when we are heading towards typically some of the wettest weeks and months of the year now if you go over to the latest ukv you'll be able to see very little precipitation once again over the coming days you can see as we head through sunday afternoon a few bits and bobs of precipitation lighter drizzly rain in the west but for most it's dry and again a few breaks in the sun uh, in the cloud sorry but really nothing too major similar pattern into monday lots of cloud maybe a few breaks here or there but where we don't see breaks and that cloud is thick could be a few bits and bobs of drizzle into tuesday a similar story a few bits and bobs of drizzle some thicker cloud around and again a few breaks in that and then into wednesday and thursday we could see a little bit more persistent precipitation trying to nudge up from the west and that's because we could see brief area of low pressure starting to try and push in not a sign of change as i said at the start of the video but perhaps just where that high pressure loses a little bit of its dominance for a day or two could allow those weather fronts to nudge in 
Now, if you look at the max temperatures, you can see this afternoon, YD sort of low teens to sort of 10, 11 for most. Again, not too bad around average or above average for the time of year as we progress into Monday. A similar story, widely sort of 8 to 13 degrees. As we head into Tuesday, temperatures started to nudge up slightly higher, perhaps in a few spots, 14, 15, 16 a possibility. And the same can be said for Wednesday and Thursday, where it is still chilly in a few spots, but mostly it is mild and above average. Just the unfortunate thing is all of that trap cloud. It could be 17, 18 degrees or even higher maybe if we didn't see all this cloud around. But unfortunately, because of the high pressure we've got over the top of us and the wind direction dragging in cloud in from the south and the east, it does mean that, as I said, it is a bit sickly. Uh, beautiful sunny kind of high pressure that we can get as we do head into winter we need to see a slightly colder air mass whereas we've got quite a, a moist mild air mass which is keeping those temperatures up but also keeping a lot of cloud around now if we do head into the longer range now and start on the latest gfs you can see high pressure firmly in control and it does lose a little bit of its strength perhaps for a time during this week and that's where we could see those low pressure systems trying to nudge in but as i said it's not a sign of change you see by thursday friday some brief low pressure trying to push in it's just the high pressure of recycling and building back in stronger as we head into the following weekend but already at day 10 signs of it nudging northwards and once again to end this gfs run we see easterly winds some brief lower pressure with a cutoff low developing so it could turn unsettled more interestingly is all of that yellow and greens heading northwards which is indicative of higher pressure trying to extend in towards the north pole now as I said way too early on in the winter to see anything majorly cold but if this pattern did persist into the latter part of the month couldn't rule it out and right at the end here you can even see potentially a bit of a northerly plunge starting to set up you see cold air exiting out of the extremities of the north pole and heading towards europe Again, if we were in December, January or February, there'd be a lot more blues on this chart, a lot more cold air to tap into. But of course, being so early on, being in November here, mid-November, there really isn't too much. And we'd have to get a real proper block going to see anything remotely cold. But interesting nonetheless. And you can see we are heading towards average or below average by the end of the run. And you can see if we look at the potential equivalent temperature, lots of blues and purple starting to set up to our north whereas at the moment you can see it's all around us but nowhere really near for us to tap into by the end of the run all to our north and northeast but essentially allowing us to move into it with this northeasterly winds trying to set up but interestingly interesting nonetheless not guaranteed to pulling anything off but again it's about the third day on the trot that the gfs run has produced a similar sort of chart Nothing major, but intriguing as we head towards the end of its run. So again, another indication that we could see a change towards potentially something a bit colder as we head into the second half of the month. Now, if you compare to the latest GM, again, pretty much the same as the GFS over the next week or two, with that little squeeze from low pressure potentially during the middle of the week, but high pressure firmly back into control by the end of the week. And once again, we're starting to see... The high pressure potentially migrating northwards. No lows really in the North Atlantic, indicating the pressure is rising and heading towards Greenland and Iceland. And you can already see cold air and the tropospheric polar vortex trying to nudge further eastwards compared to what it is doing at the moment, where it is further westwards. Uh, and that could allow us to eventually develop something a little bit colder. Again, if we compare to now, lots of blues, lower pressure towards Greenland, exiting out of northern Canada, head towards day 10, higher pressure trying to replace it. Again, just hints, nothing concrete, but again, follows on nicely from that GFS run, signs for that higher pressure trying to nudge northwards. Again, it's still sat over the top of us here, but it could push northwards if that uh, route gets opened, which could be hinted at here. Now, do you finally compare to the latest ECMWF? Again, high pressure in control, low pressure nudging in off the Atlantic for a time later this week. And then it's back in control by the end of the week. But again, look at day 10, 
very similar to the GM run and to the GFS, where again, high pressure is properly pushing towards Iceland and Greenland here, trying to really have a go at opening the floodgates to something colder. Again, not that much cold air available to our north and our east, but it's having a good go. And I wouldn't be surprised to see something chillier, frosty, potentially wintry in a few spots if a northerly or northeasterly gets going. And again, if this sort of pattern held out within the model output for another couple of weeks, end of the month, early December, it makes a massive difference, those few weeks of cooling to the northern hemisphere. And we could see something properly cold if this pattern develops. All you have to do is go back to uh, 2021, and uh, late 2021, December 22, both years, we saw early season cold um, through that sort of late November, early December point. Uh, and again, was cold and wintry in places. And could we see a rather repeat of that this year? It would be very interesting indeed. Now, if you finish by looking at the latest ensembles, the latest GFS, very mild and dry over the next week. A bit of precipitation potentially appearing in that medium range. And you can see the temperature slowly nudging back towards average. And by the end of the run, quite a few runs back towards average or below average and increased precipitation. Again, we're looking so far into the future. There is still a lot of uncertainty. But those trends or something a bit cooler and more unsettled into the longer range do continue again. No concrete data, no concrete opinion from the models. But again, hints of a bit of a change as we head into the middle of the month. And just to finish by looking at the latest ECMWF, it's broadly very, very similar. Hovering around average or above average at the moment, slowly trending back towards average or slightly below average by the end of the run, and increasing precipitation. It's gonna be very one it's gonna be one to watch quite a lot. I know the last few videos we have done lots of speculation in the longer range, and that really is because the, the short range, medium range, not a lot is going on. So if being honest. We've really only got that long range to talk about as the short to medium range is pretty much bang on. It's not changing really too much day to day. The next sort of five to seven days looks fairly concrete. It's really only the longer range that is changing all too much. I don't really want to continue banging on against uh, about high pressure and cloud all too much. Uh, as I said, that's not been changing all too much in the last few days. Next couple of days, we should have perhaps another winter look ahead for you. We only had one last week, but we've got the month ahead data that has come out um, or is coming out for November. And again, that will probably be our last month ahead update of the autumn. Uh, and again, that will be very interesting to see what that has for the winter months, whether it does follow on from our winky, uh, our winter look ahead last week it will be very interesting. But of course, I'll keep you up to date with what is going on. Hopefully there's a bit of a shift because I know this sort of pattern is getting a bit mundane. It's dry, but it is mundane. And from the sake of the videos, it is getting a little bit boring talking about high pressure, dry and mild conditions. Hopefully things do change in the next couple of weeks. And there are signs, as I said, in the longer range. But of course, I'll keep you updated. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.